What is going on guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including is The Rock's surprise appearing on Raw tonight? Was Roman Reigns upset after SmackDown? Drew McIntyre was very upset with WWE. CM Punk is wildin', Seth and Cody on a bray at a live event, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania Shorts. And now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first we looks at is The Rock making a surprise appearance on Raw tonight? The top of today's news is a rumor that The Rock will appear at tonight's Raw at Chicago's All-State Arena. A TikTok video is making the rounds claiming to show an email from the WWE Senior Director of TV Relations looking for a black F-150 Ford Raptor for The Rock to show up at the arena. Now, the final boss is already scheduled to appear on the first April Raw, but a surprise appearance tonight could lead to an epic showdown as CM Punk is also scheduled to appear tonight. However, while any interaction between The Rock and Punk would be an instant classic, does the WWE want to take away from the anticipated Punk-Drew McIntyre showdown? Furthermore, the current focus is on The Rock and the rest of the bloodline going after Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes, so a Rock-Punk confrontation seems unlikely, although the WWE could do a quick tease backstage, hinting at a future showdown. Next up, was Roman Reigns upset after SmackDown? Or was Roman Reigns upset with what transpired at the 24th March SmackDown? The WWE recently uploaded backstage footage of the Tribal Chief and the Bloodlines Jimmy Uso and Sola Sokoa, along with the Tribal Council Paul Heyman walking to the back after Cody Rhodes foiled Roman's plan to ambush him during their face-to-face -face confrontation. In case you missed it, Paul Heyman told Cody Rhodes that Roman would be alone at the show and he expected the same from Cody. After their promo, Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso showed up and things looked grim for Cody, but that is until Seth Rollins and Jey Uso came out of the crowd. The WWE's Instagram post raised some eyebrows, not only because it suggested Roman wasn't pleased with how things turned out, but because of this caption, Paul Heyman's look says it all. While it seems like a no-brainer that Roman Reigns would be upset that the plans to lay a beatdown on Cody Rhodes fizzled, Paul Heyman's look is what is more intriguing. The WWE doesn't upload footage like this for no reason, as it's come to rely on social media to forward storylines. There are several ways to read this, all of which invite speculation. Now, the first is that Paul Heyman is worried because his plan fell through and Reigns won't be happy. A second is that Paul Heyman is disgusted with Reigns, somehow blaming him for his plan falling apart. Some fans have speculated that Heyman could ditch Roman Reigns for The Rock, and while that's something we'll have to wait and see play out, the potential storylines will surely have fans buzzing on social media. Next up, Drew McIntyre was very upset with WWE. Speaking of Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre recently revealed just how angry he was with the WWE following his loss to the Tribal Chief at Clash at the Castle. McIntyre recently chatted with the Gorilla Position, revealing, I was very, very upset. I was frustrated. I understand the bigger picture with Roman and where the company's going, where he's going, how necessary it is. Personally believe that there was maybe another way to figure out how we can protect what's going on with him, but also elevate McIntyre to where we need him to be for the company. We didn't do it that night, and I thought we could have, maybe should have. Some fans felt the WWE missed a huge opportunity that night by putting the Undisputed Championship on Drew in Cardiff, especially since the WWE didn't put the title on Cody at WrestleMania 39. McIntyre discussed how he's come to appreciate where things needed to be in the long run. Triple H always talks about the bigger picture, the long game. If I'd won that night, the story wouldn't be the same obviously as it is right now. McIntyre's loss at Clash at the Castle did lay the groundwork for his heel turn, a turn which has revitalized his career and which could lead to Drew winning the World Heavyweight Championship. Do you think Drew should have won at Clash at the Castle? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Jake Roberts signs a new AEW deal. And there's some big news for Jake the Snake Roberts fans as SE Scoops is exclusively reporting that Roberts has signed a one-year deal to remain in AEW. SE Scoops is reporting that Jake is set to make the following announcement on his podcast. Well folks, just to let you know, you're going to be looking at me on AEW for another year. That's right, they re-signed me, so that's great news. Looking forward to doing it. And there's some other news that could please Roberts fans as crossing my fingers that wouldn't it be something if we started the snake pit back up? Listen, I'd love to talk to Tony about that. I'm damn sure going to pitch it. Jake's presence on AEW has been spotty due to the pandemic and health concerns. Giving Jake TV time if he's able to appear on TV would be a wise move as he remains one of the wrestling's best talkers. An interview segment could be a good way to capitalize on nostalgia surrounding the snake as well as to build new storylines. Next up, Ronda Rousey's latest rant. Ronda Rousey is going off on former WWE exec John Laurinaitis. 
Rousey is not holding back on her criticism of certain individuals in the WWE such as Vince McMahon and now she's taking time to focus on Laurenitis. Here's an excerpt from Rousey's upcoming book Our Fight where Rousey talks about Triple H's absence from NXT and how Vince McMahon and Laurenitis changed the game's vision. T Triple H stepped away to deal with his health and in his absence, Vince's crony saw an opportunity. NXT was losing the ratings battle to AEW. They whispered to Vince. Changes needed to be made, which is how John Laurinaitis, a former wrestler turned WWE exec and all-round dirtbag, ended up running NXT. Rousey continued her take on what happened to NXT. Whereas Triple H looked for talent and potential in NXT prospects, it appeared John Laurinaitis looked for effability. Yeah, I'm not saying the word. He further purged the NXT roster, firing it seemed like everyone over 25 and turning recruiting attention away from the indie circuits in favor of blonde sorority types from places like the universities of Florida and Tennessee. As some critics are noting that the convenient timing of Rousey's criticisms about WWE since her book debut is imminent. But there's also a new report from Fightful Select Sean Ross Sapp that suggests doubts about Rousey's statements. I can tell you some other comments that she had made that were debunked, some that she had made during an interview and some people like, hey what's up with this? Not only could I find any credibility, but some of them were debunked. I don't know if she's in book selling mode or maybe she's got some bad intel or, or I got bad intel. Nobody's really trying to stand up from Laurinaitis or Vince McMahon these days there. Nobody is. With Bruce, he just kind of ignores it. Do you think Rousey is exaggerating things? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, expect a low-key Raw set tonight. It looks like the WWE is taking a less is more approach to the set for tonight's Raw at the Allstate Arena. EBU of Wrestling Purist is reporting, Raw tomorrow will have this minimalistic set which will be cool. As some fans are enjoying the change of pace for the WWE's TV stages, with some fans actually preferring less extravagant sets. The speculation that WWE had to change its set after adding seats following the announcement that Punk would appear on the show. Which set do you prefer for Raw? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Rhea Ripley's Revolution. It looks like Rhea Ripley's recent performance of the Stink Face has started a revolution. As we reported yesterday, Ripley performed a Stink Face on Nia Jax at a recent live event in Springfield. This led to everyone from Buddy Matthews to Shayna Baszler reacting to Ripley's new move and one many fans have expressed a desire to take. A Rhea Ripley's real life fiance Buddy Matthews noted on social media that he takes the move every week and now it seems like WWE superstars are ready to take it including Shayna Baszler who plopped herself down in the corner and invited Ripley to pay homage to Rikishi. Unfortunately, Nia Jax turned up spoiling the fan by laying Ripley out with a clothesline. While Ripley plays a heel, her character has become a fan favorite nonetheless and the WWE's universe increasing cheers for her suggests a babyface turn is inevitable for the Eradicator. Do you think she should turn babyface? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, CM Punk is wildin'. Is CM Punk jumping on the Rhea Ripley bandwagon? Now we're not talking about Punk wanting to take a stink face from Ripley, but the following Instagram comment from Punk about his appearance on tonight's Raw. I've seen what Rhea Ripley has been doing on house shows and I'm ready to raise the bar. See you tomorrow, Chicago. What do you think Punk's gonna do? Next up, Seth and Cody on a bright and live event. Our fans attending a recent live event featuring Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes vs Jimmy Uso and Sola Sokoa were in for a treat as Seth and Cody paid tribute to Bray Wyatt after the match. Inside the Ropes reported on the post-match happening saying, After beating the brothers, the American Nightmare addressed the live audience saying that it was great to see so many fireflies in attendance. This resulted in more fans illuminating the arena with their torches and the World Heavyweight Champion Rollins leading them in a rendition of He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. The WWE Universe's love for Bray Wyatt is a testament to how much the late great superstar touched their hearts and provided cutting edge entertainment in the process. The WWE's upcoming documentary on Bray Wyatt is sure to leave viewers misty-eyed as the WWE pays tribute to one of its most beloved superstars. And finally, Triple H invites Meek Mill to WrestleMania. And last but not least, WrestleMania is looking to be a huge event with rumors that Steve Austin, John Cena and even The Undertaker may show up. However, the WWE Universe may see a special guest star from the music world as rapper Meek Mill recently expressed his son's interest in attending the show. Triple H responded, I got you Meek Mill, it's your city and WWE is just coming to have some fun, clear your schedule. There's no word on whether he'll perform at the showcase of the Immortals in his hometown but it wouldn't be the first time he's worked in WWE. In 2022, Ringside News reported that Meek Mill has collaborated with WWE to create a limited edition Dreams and Nightmares t-shirt based on his hit song. Would you like Meek Mill to be at WrestleMania? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.